Sir Winston Churchill was a British politician famous for his leadership of the United Kingdom during World War II. He was also a Nobel Peace Prize nominee, winner of the 1953 Nobel Prize for Literature, and the first person to be made an honorary citizen of the United States. Churchill was born in 1874 in Blenheim Palace in Oxfordshire, England. His father was a prominent conservative politician from the aristocratic family of the Duke of Marlborough. Churchill lived in Dublin until he was six, then attended several schools in England where he struggled academically. He then enrolled in the army and actively sought out military action and began to take an interest in war correspondence. In 1895, Churchill travelled to Cuba to observe the Spanish army fighting the Cubans. He then saw active service in India and the Sudan, and was then named as Conservative candidate for the Oldham constituency in England. He was unsuccessful in his political campaign, so he obtained a commission to act as war correspondent in the Second Boer War in South Africa. He was captured and imprisoned in a prisoner of war camp in Pretoria in South Africa, but escaped and rejoined his troops and continued fighting. He then returned to England and published his experiences, and once again stood for the Oldham constituency in the general election of 1900, and won. He retired from the army and was made First Lord of the Admiralty, in charge of the Royal Navy, where he upgraded and modernised the British fleet, but resigned in 1915 after the failure of the Battle of Gallipoli. Churchill then rejoined the British army in order to salvage his reputation, and spent time on the Western Front in World War I. He rejoined the government and was made Secretary of State for War and Air, and the Chancellor of the Exchequer in 1924. The 1930s were known as Churchill's Wilderness Years, where he opposed the self-rule of India led by Mohandas Gandhi and made continual unheeded warnings in Parliament about the rise of Nazi Germany and the need for British rearmament. He was again made First Lord of the Admiralty when war broke out in 1939, and when Prime Minister Neville Chamberlain resigned in 1940, Churchill took his place. Churchill refused to surrender to Nazi Germany, and his rousing speeches and tireless work throughout the war hardened public opinion towards the war effort. He built a strong relationship with American President Theodore Roosevelt and maintained a difficult alliance with the Soviet Union, with the Russians referring to him as the British Bulldog. Many in Britain saw Churchill as a great wartime leader, but not the man to lead the country in peace, and he was defeated in the 1945 election. Despite being in his 70s, Churchill became leader of the opposition and began to speak openly about the growing threat of the USSR. He was re-elected Prime Minister again in 1951 and resigned in 1955, but remained a Member of Parliament until shortly before his death in 1965 at the age of 90. A state funeral service was ordered by the Queen, and thousands stood in silence out of respect for one of the greatest wartime leaders the British Empire had ever seen.